Good morning. What's up? It's your boy George. Back with another YouTube video for you guys on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why PCC sucks. And not only why PCC sucks, but also why or what the issue is with the current state of the game. So that being said, let's get right into the video. Whoa, 74.4% you guys aren't subscribed to the channel. What are you doing? Go down there, hit the sub button, hit the like button. We're on the road to 2,500 subscribers. So I'm trying to hit before the end of the month. So that being said, let's get right into the video. Right then, guys, welcome back to the video. As you guys can see, I I haven't personally played that much PCC, all right? I'll let the points slide over in a second. So I won 2,980 points, ranked 1251. 149 games played, well, 150 games played, 149 wins, one loss. And the reason I'm stopping at this point in PCC and I won't be playing another game is because I don't need the event card. You guys will be thinking, what? This guy's out of his mind. What does he mean when he says he doesn't need the event card? Well, and this is also another reason why I wanted to create this video. That's because I now have SE cards that absolutely dominate event cards. Like if we take a look at this Gunter, this is a full heroic event card, right? Like full heroic, maxed out, best as possible on the rumble equipment. Okay, that rumble equipment isn't maxed out yet, but you guys kind of get the gist, right? And then you've got my F3 SE Varitas Dish. A Scarlet, maxed out. And that's a female card. And that female card four stats it. That absolutely destroys it. So if that's the case, why do I need... Uh, if that's the case with Gunter, then why do I need Taker? Right? And that's not just an issue with PC. That's an issue with the game. But the reason why I'm recording this video is because, as you guys know, I'm a Season 1 uh, player of WWE Supercard. Again, I've played countless PCCs, and in my whole lifetime, I've only been able to obtain one PCC card back in Season 1. That PCC card was, in fact, a Season 1 WrestleMania Randy Orton. This is the Randy Orton I was able to obtain. That was my first ever and will, will only ever be my greatest PCC event card that I ever got. So... Yeah, based on that, I enjoyed PCC back, back in season one and season two a lot. Season, was it season 10 now we're in? Season 10, PCC, not the same. A lot of things I don't like about it. A, the deck structure. So PCC back in the day used to use this deck, right? And you used to have the freedom of being able to switch out cards how you want and play with the best card and play with the cards which you think would win you the most games. I have more strategy with the game. The problem is now, if you're someone like me who's just got an insane card deck based on card strength you just don't lose a game i'll genuinely i'll show you i'll buy a set of quads right now for 550 credits and i'll show you the reason i've only dropped one game and that was only because i wasn't paying attention so i should really be 150 and 0 and this is the problem there's no more difficulty to pcc it's too easy and then you guys might be questioning that. Why is he complaining about the game being too easy? Sorry, that's a good thing, right? Yes and no. I enjoyed the days of PCC where you genuinely have to strategize about how you play based on like the cards you play. Rather than it just being you use a certain deck, you use that deck which, which is filled with your top cards and you can't lose. So here, as you guys can see, I'll probably 3-0 uh, this guy right now purely because my cards are so good. Yeet, yeet, and yeet. There you go. Yep, 3-0 win. And that's been the case for the entire PCZ, right? For me so far. So, I mean, it'd be a good thing if I actually wanted to go for something. But again, with the with the cards being what they are now, the event cards, you don't really need to go for them. All you need to go for are F3 or F2 special edition cards. And they'll most likely two stat or three stat, maybe even four stat event cards. Another thing that I don't like is the fact that I feel like Cat Daddy have been lazy with uh, the event based on the fact of the card design so if pcc cards back in the day used to the cards then used to be different from obviously i'm saying this right so in season one season two you had two events or in season one you had two events you had pcc and rtg in a two-week rotation um so the pcc cards were depending on the tier were either red or or like I'm trying to think red or yellow obviously legendary would have been yellow and i think from there onwards they were red and then um, RTG cards are blue. I've got, I could show you guys an example. I have got a, in my card catalog. As you guys saw earlier, 
the Randy Orton was a red card because it was PCC, as you guys can see even here with Roman. And this was the RTG card. So RTG was blue, PCC would tend to be red. Again, that was a, I'm pretty sure that was a RTG or PCC, and then that was RTG. So they were very, they were very distinct from each other, right? Again, here in season two, PCC, PCC, then I think that was another PCC event card. I don't think if Roman actually had another RTG card. Um, but, uh, bar wrestlemania tier but yeah basically you kind of get the gist they were different and it made it and it was it was good because the card designs are unique and it made you chase something you know it made you chase something unique whereas I, and this is why i feel sorry for the people at the top that are actually going for for top rank here even though they are blatantly cheating and should be called out for it they are just going for basic all of these are, most of these will be speeders you guys know that speed hacking it's not a good thing um so yeah you guys know based on that that it's gonna be hard to get into these leaderboards right again even my boy toxic for recruit like what are you doing i have to call you out call it out like what the hell are you doing bro come on it's not good it's not a good look nonetheless right but yeah they are all playing they are all playing for a bog standard event card design and i don't like that hence why i wouldn't be playing much of this because if i want if i if I really wanted to play PCC, I'd play for the unique card design. I feel like they were lazy with it, you know? And I feel like they could have done more with the card design. Another thing is the reward. So they're going to hand out 20,000 cards by the look of it, looks of it, because obviously down to rank 10K, you get a taker, right? So if you're on Triple H's side, up to rank 10K, you'll get a Triple H. Make that make sense. When it used to only be the, side, the winning side, those rewards you'd get, you know? So it'd be... And, and obviously the pool of the event card were, were far less uh it was far smaller than it is now so yeah i mean at the end of the day we've, we've had event cards distributed uh loads it's not like it's going to make a big difference to the game because obviously the differs in strength depending on ranks people get but yeah man it's just a lot and then obviously you got these packs and it, as much as these were a good idea at the start of the event why not loop them why not let people earn more and more of these as they go on because after 750 points you don't get any more of these that's it done 750 points has it done and uh yeah it's kind of like sayonara with that so yeah i'm not a big fan of these things in the game i feel like they need to update pcc again they need to restructure it again they need to fix it again they need to remove these packs if they're just gonna keep them as they are right there then they need to be removed if they if they want to keep them there then let people uh as every time they hit an extra 750 points let them obtain another pack that's just my two cents and also two cents for where the game's going right now obviously like I said each of their own feel free to obviously grind out pc if you want with that being said that is gonna do it for me let me know what you guys think of the uh my my takes in the comments down below leave a comment if you guys agree or disagree i'm down to hear to hear what you guys think of it also if you guys ever need credits for your super card accounts feel free to hit me up on instagram username will be on screen for you guys right now with that being said as we boy george and i'll see you guys on the next one very very soon Bye.